Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up. I want to thank everyone for the response from yesterday's tune-up. I really appreciate it, and many of you feel exactly the way I do, and all I can say to that is keep digging. Information is out there, and uh, keep watching, and I will share everything I can with you. But right now is the time to really, really pay attention. Speaking of paying attention, today I want to talk about something I hear a lot about. I know a lot of people that I talk to, and whether they're clients or friends or just people I run into, have difficulty sometimes staying in the game. You know, they just get burned out, they're tired of working, they're tired of dealing with their marriage, their challenges, their bills, no job, a no good job. They're just tired and they want to quit. And there's that old adage, a winner never quits, a quitter never wins. You know, that's lip service. I understand there's always reasons, sometimes run deeper than just a slick little cliche like that. I felt like quitting many times myself, and that still happens to me all the time. What I've learned, though, is that you're always guaranteed one thing for sure if you do quit. There will be no progress beyond that point. And sometimes it's like when we're growing grass and we water it and water it and water it. And we've done this for years and there's just nothing going to grow there. So we quit. And a lot of times that grass is just below the surface. We can't see it. We can't see the progress it's making. But just a little more nurturing, a little more watering, it'll pop through the surface. And all of a sudden, as the sun sets, you look across the ground, you see little sprigs of green and it starts growing. And if you quit watering that particular day where it looks like there's no yield, nothing else is gonna happen. It is gonna die, it is gonna go away. In our jobs, in our relationships, it's kinda like that bare ground sometimes. We've struggled with it for a long, long time. You know, and I've struggled in relationships myself. You know, it's not easy. I've struggled in jobs and careers myself. It's not easy. I've had jobs. I've not had jobs. I've had a purpose. I've felt like I don't have a purpose. It happens to all of us. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of having someone come and see me that watches the tune-ups and wanted to come in and meet me in person, and I take that as a really big compliment. And this person thought she still had stuff going on with her, and as I sat there and talked to this person, She's really grown through her life and taken what was, you know, some really not good stuff and turned it into good stuff. She used what she thought was not good to help other people, yet had some guilt about it and wanted to get rid of that guilt. And I told her guilt serves no purpose. We have to take a look at what we've learned and use that. Use that wisdom. That's all it is. Today, if you're in one of those places in your life at a crossroads where you want to quit, you want to walk away, you want to change things, yet what you're walking away from might be worth saving, if you just really, really water it and nurture it, focus on it just a little bit more, it might help. Or maybe today's the day we just cut our losses. It's up to you. It's your choice. Always remember, it's always your choice, and those choices and those decisions are the things you live with. And sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good. So pay attention and make it out of rational thinking rather than mad, angry, upset, or irritated. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, thought-filled day. Until then, bye-bye.